covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. The CEO of Cambridge Qualcomm Computing called Honeywell's efforts the best kept secret in quantum computing. In a race where most of the major players are vying for attention, Honeywell has quietly worked on its efforts for the last few years and under strict NDA, it seems. But early last month, the company announced a major breakthrough that it claims will allow it to launch the world's most powerful quantum computer this year. Honeywell has long built the kind of complex control systems that power many of the world's largest industrial sites. It's that kind of experience that has now allowed it to build an advanced ion trap at the core of its efforts. Computers use bits to transfer information. The more bits, the more data that can be transferred. Think of the leap from Super Nintendo at 16 bits to the Nintendo 64 at 64 bits. Quantum information is transferred in qubits, which have the same purpose as a traditional computer bits, but are radically more powerful. These qubits can eventually form quantum gates, which can lead to quantum circuits. That's the measure Google was using. Honeywell, however, is measuring what IBM first called quantum volume, which looks at a quantum machine more holistically, taking into account the number of qubits, connectivity, and gate and measurement errors. The larger the quantum volume, the more complex problems you can solve, says Dr. Patty Lee, chief scientist for Honeywell. IBM owns machines. IBM's own machines have achieved a quantum volume of 32. Honeywell's machines uh, achieves twice that. Currently, Honeywell has about 100 scientists, engineers, and developers dedicated to its quantum project. Original projections might have seen Honeywell's quantum computer unveiled this summer. We'll see how long that shapes up in light of COVID-19.